Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build a patient health monitoring system using an ESP32 and the Blink IoT platform. This system is capable of monitoring a patient's heart rate, oxygen level, body temperature, and room temperature in real time. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. First, we need an ESP32 development board as the main controller. For measuring heart rate and oxygen level, we'll use the MAX30100 pulse oximeter sensor. To monitor room temperature, we'll use a DHT11 sensor, and for accurately measure the body temperature, we'll use a DS18B20 temperature sensor. Additionally, we'll need a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, a breadboard, and some jumper wires for making the connections. Begin by placing the ESP32 onto the breadboard. Next, connect the jumper wires on the breadboard to connect all the modules as per the circuit diagram. Then, place the MAX30100 sensor on the breadboard and connect it to the ESP32. The MAX3100 uses red and infrared LEDs to accurately detect pulse and blood oxygen levels. However, a common issue with this module is that its I2C pull-up resistors are tied to 1.8 volts, which causes communication problems with 3.3 volt devices like the ESP32. To fix it, simply cut the 1.8 volt trace and reconnect the pull-ups to 3.3 volts for stable operation. After that, place the DHT11 sensor and make the necessary connections. Finally, connect the DS18B20 sensor and ensure that a 4.7 kilo ohms resistor is placed between the signal line of the sensor and the 3.3 volt pin of the ESP32. DS18B20 uses an open drain data line, which means it can only pull the line low, not drive it high. This is why a pull-up resistor is necessary to keep the line at a high state when the sensor is not pulling it low. Now let's move on to the Blink Web Dashboard setup. Visit the Blink website and create a new account if you haven't already. From the Developer Zone, create a new template for your project. Then, create four virtual data streams. One for each of the parameters we want to monitor. On the web dashboard, add four gauge widgets and assign each of them to its corresponding virtual pins. After the dashboard is ready, create a device using the template. Once done, you will receive the Blink template ID device name, and authentication token. These details need to be entered at the beginning of your Arduino code. You need to install all these libraries for this project. You will find them in the Arduino IDE Library Manager if missing. Also, update the Wi-Fi credentials in the designated section of the code. After everything is set, select the ESP32 dev module as the board, choose the correct COM port, and upload the code. Next, we need to set up the Blink mobile dashboard. Install the Blink IoT app from the Play Store and log in to your Blink account. Create a new dashboard with four gauges and link them to the same virtual pins used in the web dashboard.
Now let's see the final result. Keep your ESP32 within close range of your Wi-Fi network. Open the Blink mobile app to start monitoring the parameters. Place your finger gently on the pulse oximeter sensor to view your heart rate and oxygen level. You can also observe the body temperature readings from the DS18B20 sensor and the room temperature from the DHT11. I've fast-forwarded a portion of the video to help you see how the body temperature readings change over time. Thank you so much for watching the full video.